What's that? What's that I hear from the audience? You guys like the t-shirt of the band that wrote the benchmark song? Is that what I'm hearing? Oh, well, that's cool. But nah, that's not what you guys are here for. You guys are probably here for the Blackintosh video, huh? We know why you guys are here. Because you know what they say. Once you go black, baby, you never go back. No, but all joking aside, you guys know that I run a music business as well as do all these PC stuff. And that said, when it comes to productivity, I'm not saying anything against the PC guys, but I'm just telling you, my Mac works really good for productivity. When we're editing videos, doing the sound and stuff, it just works better. And I know you guys out there as PC guys are like totally fucked that price of going out and buying a Mac. When you guys see the price tag, you guys just like totally forget about it. You want to burn Mac down. So, okay. I understand that. I'm kind of with you guys on that, which is hence why I did that. Now, this is no little low-end, little baby boy's computer. This is a high-end $1,700 Blackintosh computer. That's right. This is a really cool system. From the ground up, it's been custom built, and it's actually totally silent. So, that said, let's jump in and let's check out this new Blackintosh from the folks here at motherboards.org. <laughs> Now, before we actually jump in and show you guys the system, I have to send a shout out to Tony Mac X86 because without this guy's help, none of these projects for any of us would be possible. His help is what got this system up and going, and we want to just give you a salute, Tony, and thanks a lot for your instructions. But now, let's check out this badass Blackintosh and see what the hell I'm talking about. So let's start off by going from the outside in. Now the case I chose, I chose it because it's very simple and elegant and it's also totally geared for running a silent system. This is the new Black Pearl Define XL from the people over at Fractal. Now, a lot of you guys are out there can choose a different case if you want. I know this one's a bit pricey, but I went with it because it's very nice. Then we'll start off and we'll bop over to the power supply. I use the TR2. This is the 700 watt version from the people over at Thermaltake. You guys can opt out for a different power supply if you want. I just went with this one because it's one of the ones I had lying around. As far as the motherboard goes, I use the Gigabyte Z68X UD3H-B3. This motherboard is listed as being one of the top listed compatible motherboards for building a Hackintosh, hence why we went with it. Now, for the CPU, we decided just to go ahead and go for the very top of the line Sandy Bridge that we can go for. So I got the i7-2700K, and I had this bad boy overclocked to 4.0 gigahertz. Didn't want to go too overboard, but it's completely stable, and with the water cooling, we're getting there next. It's completely cool. Now for cooling, we use Thermaltake's Water 2.0 Pro Kit. This thing comes into market just a little bit over $100 and it's doing a very excellent job of keeping this CPU running cool and quiet. Now, because of that, we also have a Geekbench score, which is over 14,000 points. This blows away any other single quad-core Mac that you're going to be able to get your hands on, whether it be a MacBook Pro, an iMac, or a Mac Pro. For the memory, I want to give a shout out to Robert over at Corsair and tell him thank you very much for the 16 gigabyte Dominator kit that he's provided for us. It's working very well in this system, and we're doing video editing and rendering. It's really kicking ass. As far as the video goes, if you were to go out right now and configure a Mac with some of the things we have in it, you would be blown away at how much it costs. And you couldn't even get the 6870 that we have in here. We're using an XFX 2 gigabyte version 6870. Currently on the Mac store, you can only get the system configured with a 5870, much lower technology. Now, for our boot drive, we went with the Kingston HyperX 240 gigabyte SSD. This thing is very fast and offers enough storage space to store most of our programs on it. Every good system also needs a media drive, and for our media drive, we use the one terabyte Western Digital Black Drive, which is one of the most common drives used on the market today. You guys can see inside this case, one of the reasons that we didn't go all out and sleeve everything in the wiring is because this system is going to be covered and closed up all the time with a very thick foam insulated door. So looks at this point were not as important as functionality. As you guys can see inside the case, there's absolutely no airflow constriction. It's just a clean passageway from front to back. So lastly, and probably starting to be a product that's going to be obsolete very soon is the optical drive. Since the Macs do not support Blu-ray, we just went with a nice simple 22X DVD RW by the people over at Samsung. It's very low priced and you can pick this thing up anywhere. 
So those are all the parts that we use, folks. Now, as far as the OS goes, you have a couple different options. You can either pay $30 from the Apple Store and just get it digitally, or you can pay $70 like I did and actually get it on a little USB stick. I think this is the best way to go because then you just put it away, and if you ever need it again, you just go and get it and reuse it. Also, for those people out there who are interested in making this build over on our website, motherboards.org, a friend of ours, Matt's made a complete slideshow showing all the different parts that are available in the system. So. Let's just wrap it up, folks. This is a Hackintosh, Blackintosh. And you know what they say, once you go Blackintosh, you just don't ever use a Macintosh. No, I'm just jiving. But anyways, folks, that's pretty much it. This has been the Blackintosh system, incredible score in Geekbench, and the thing just looks like a total ass kicking system. Also, for you PC guys out there, I know you're gonna ask this, all you have to really do is put another drive in here and you can have both a Mac and a PC all in one system. So hey, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go on back and play some more on my computer. See you guys later.